Hey, what is going on guys, Techthusiast here, and this is a speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S9 against the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. So how much difference would the 2 gigs of RAM make? Let's find out in this video. The Samsung Galaxy S9 has a Quad HD screen, it's on Android Oreo, and this is the European variant, so it has the Exynos 9810 processor and the Mali G72 GPU, and it has 4 gigs of RAM. The Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus also has pretty much the same specs, Quad HD screen although it's slightly larger, and it has 6 gigs of RAM. Just before starting the test, you can see there are no apps or games running in the background, and the first app to be opened will be the camera app, and they both opened up at the same time. Next is the browser test, and I'll be using Google Chrome and going to the Verge website. Here we go, and the S9 Plus loaded up the advert whilst we wait for the S9, and we'll just move on, Hot UK Deals, and the S9 Plus was fractionally faster than the S9. So I'll just scroll down and go up, load some of that content. Photoshop. load up the same image and they both opened up at the same time. Microsoft Word, open up a template and they both opened up at the same time. YouTube and we have the same videos here. And the S9 Plus was fractionally faster in loading the thumbnails and the first game Horizon Chase. The S9 Plus is pulling ahead slightly faster. Yep, the S9 Plus was faster here. And I'll let that play in the background. Super Mario Run Okay, they're both ready to be played So let's see which one loads the level first and they both did it at the same time Skyforce Okay, they both seem to be loading at the same time And the title screen, yep, at the same time. Sonic Forces. The S9 Plus is slightly ahead and it's loaded up the game. Spider Man Unlimited. And the S9 Plus seems to be ahead. Yes, it is. And the last game, Temple Run 2. And the S9 Plus has loaded it up first. So I'll just tap on that to start the game and let it run in the background as usual. So the S9 Plus won round 1 by 7 points. Moving on to round 2, the RAM management. And as you can see, all the apps and games are in the background. And we'll start off with Temple Run 2. And it's running fine. Next is Spider-Man Unlimited. Again, no problem here at all. They are both running fine. Sonic Forces. And they are both running as well. Skyforce. Again, no issues here on both of the devices. Super Mario Run. Okay, so the S9 had to reload the game or restart the game. Horizon Chase. 
and the S9 crashed, whereas the S9 Plus is running the game. YouTube. The S9 Plus has it running, whereas the S9 had to reload. Microsoft Word and it's open fine on the S9 Plus and the document exited on the S9. Photoshop. The same here, it had to restart on the S9. Moving on to Hot UK Deals and they are both running fine. Chrome. The S9 Plus had it open in the background and the S9 had to reload the page. And finally the camera app. They both opened it fine, however the S9 Plus was slightly faster here. So on round 2 the S9 Plus is ahead by 6 points. Moving on to the Geekbench 4 test, both of these phones are on Android 8.0 at the time of recording. So they both finished the CPU benchmark at 3 minutes and 24 seconds and there isn't a big difference in the scores. And finally the compute test and we'll get straight into the results. The Galaxy S9 finished the compute benchmark at 54 seconds which was 1 second faster than the S9 Plus however the score was higher on the S9 Plus. So that is the end of the speed test comparison. Here are the scores at a glance. The Galaxy S9 Plus dominated the Galaxy S9 in opening apps and games faster and also keeping the apps and games running in RAM. No doubt the 2 gigs of extra RAM did help. So what did you make of this speed test comparison? Do let me know in the comments section. If you have enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up. If it is your first time here then please consider subscribing as I have more content coming up. The upcoming videos will include the camera and speed test comparisons with the Google Pixel 2 XL so make sure you have your notifications enabled. Like always, thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video. Just in case I get accused again saying this isn't the S9, here you can see these are the S9 and the S9 Plus by the fingerprint reader placement.